Good morning, my friends. Father Wynn here with my Peruvian coffee cup. It's Monday, May 3rd. Let's take a moment to close our eyes and to breathe our way into this day. Drawing up with our in-breath what we bring into this day of the night before or the day before, the worries and the hurts, the confusion, the dreams, maybe only a wisp of a dream leaving with us. The day ahead, what we look forward to and what we dread, the tiredness of body and spirit or the joy at the beginning of this day. Draw these up and breathe them out, release them on your breath as you sink into that sacred center in us all. That place of the stream of life that flows through all of us from the heart of God. And if you're comfortable, you may want to continue to center as I read these prayers. We begin our day alone, honoring this life with all its potentials and possibilities. We begin our day with trust, knowing we are created for loving encounter. We begin our day with hope, knowing the day can hold love, kindness, forgiveness, and justice. We recall our day yesterday. May we learn, may we love, may we live on. We make room for the unexpected today. May we find wisdom and life in the unexpected Help us to embrace possibility, respond graciously to disappointment, and hold tenderly those we encounter. Help us to be fully present to this day. We pray for all whose day will be difficult. May we support, may we listen, may we change. We resolve to live life in its fullness. We will welcome the people who will be part of this day. We will greet God in ordinary and hidden moments. We will live the life we are living. May we find the wisdom we need, God be with us. May we hear the needs of those we meet, God be with us. May we love the life that we are given. God be with us. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks, receives and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for bread, will give a stone? Or if the child asks for a fish, will give a snake? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, 
how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road is easy that leads to destruction, and there are many who take it. For the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life, and there are few who find it. Let us pray the New Zealand Lord's Prayer. Eternal Spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be, Father and mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe, the way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. In the silence of this morning or evening or a quiet moment you take to pray during the day, let us remember all those who have died and all those facing illness, surgery, injury, or any other adversity. We first remember especially today the repose of the soul of Ethan Willie. And we pray for Ethelene, Stanley Avery, Curtis Bancroft, Mason Beers, John Camp, Catherine Blackwood, Dwight Buholtz, Dawson Chambers, Claiborne Copeland, Sue Cromlin, Mary Earhart, Marilyn Gindros, Virginia Graham, Doris Graves, Nancy Hemming, Norris McLean, Letitia Middaw, James Malloy, Kelsey Nolan, Dennis Provost, Phyllis Sayers, Mark Sayers, Marge Setnicki, Liz Slaman, Martha, and David, Nicholas, and Scott. Prayer for the morning. This is another day, O Lord, I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words and give me the spirit of Jesus. Amen. A prayer for reconciliation by Pedrick Otuma, poet, theologian, and the former director of uh, Corimila, a community and organization in Northern Ireland in Ballycastle that is committed to reconciliation, peace, and justice in the world. Where there is separation, there is pain. And where there is pain, there is story. And where there is story, there is understanding and misunderstanding, listening and not listening. May we separated peoples, estranged strangers, unfriended families, divided communities, turn toward each other and turn toward our stories with understanding and listening with argument and acceptance, with challenge, change, and consolation. Because if God is to be found, God will be found in the space between us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God whose power working in us 
can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. I hope you have a beautiful Monday. I'm going to sip my coffee some more and thank with thanksgiving of all of you.